Hello and welcome to Christian Labor. Please like, subscribe, comment, click on an ad, or donate from the banner of our YouTube homepage. Thank you. I wanted to make a succinct video about the link between socialism and homosexuality because my last video was nine minutes long. The link between socialism and homosexuality is that socialists say that capitalism creates this great excess from which the capitalists never let anything go. And as socialists, they're going to take the excess and redistribute it. What actually happened is over the course of the millennium, people have less and less rights to the land. Even in the medieval times, your, your, your peon had his tenement, and he worked his tenement, and then he owed some labor also to the Lord. But he had a place to live. He had his land, his work. We don't even have that anymore. What capitalism actually did was it took away all of the responsibility of the wealthy. They owe us nothing, and they own everything. This so-called excess is them extracting all of our work for their own benefit. And when they stop doing that, there's not going to be any excess. Look around you. Look at China. Look at India. Look, there's no excess. These people are working their fingers to the bone so that our wealthy can have excess. People can be comfortable if they're allowed to work for their own welfare, but when we're forced to work for everybody else's welfare, productivity goes down and the gap between the wealthiest and the poorest goes up. Socialism will not cure that. The link is this. Socialists talk about how this abundance, which doesn't exist, is such that people shouldn't have to control their impulses anymore. And this extends to them to the free love movement. Free love movement is part of the socialist movement, and homosexuality is part of the free love movement, saying simply that we should not have to control our impulses. Why? Look at the economy around us, the capitalistic economy, the culture of impulse buying, of needing to constantly buy. That stems from the banking system, from fiat currency, from constant inflation built into the system. And they want to take that system and move forward with it. There's no way to move forward with corruption. So if you want a small government, if you want a productive enterprise government, you're going to have to oppose gay marriage, homosexuality, and the whole free love movement. Thank you for watching. Take care. Thanks again for watching Christian Labor. Please like, subscribe, comment, click on an ad, or donate from the banner of our YouTube homepage. Thank you very much.